What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I just bought like a hundred dollars worth of RYLD today, and things are looking really good with RYLD. I'll show you what I'm doing on M1 Finance real quick with my dividend portfolio with RYLD. We're gonna do a quick stock and dividend analysis of RYLD. And I'm going to show you my dividend investing strategy on M1 Finance. So let's check this out right now. So the Global X Russell 2000 cover call ETF is sitting at $25.43. Now, this is a monthly dividend ETF. This is an ETF that dividend investors love. Now, this is one that's not going to beat the S&P. I'm just comparing it right now to the S&P. I did a previous video on it in the review and showed you the expense ratio and everything. I'll put that in the top right hand corner. But I really want to show you my dividend investing strategy that I have on M1 Finance and why I keep on buying the Russell 2000 covered call ETF. Uh, RYLD is the symbol. So I'm going to jump to its dividend history real quick. And I like the consistency, which I'll show you. Okay, so you're getting a pretty good bang for your buck. 23 cents, 22 cents. It's not, it's pretty consistent right around 24 cents. Let's just say 17 cents to 24 cents with a price of $25.42. So this cover call ETF has been pretty consistent and it gives you a good dividend. Um, it is, it's a monthly dividend and it's, it's something that I like with my M1 Finance dividend portfolio, which I'm going to show you real quick. So right now, it earned a total of $757.55 with the dividend portfolio, which I prefer as the Death Star. I'm at $21,000. Goal is to get to $100,000. So we're going to keep on going strong. And these guys right here, QYLD, XYLD, and RYLD are going to pave the way for my dividend portfolio. So I just want to show you how many shares I have right now. I have 16 shares of RYLD, and I really like the way things are going. I'm really going to, I'm starting to be at the point with all my monthly dividend stocks, I'm making $125 a month. Right now it's estimated, but it's looking like it's headed, heading in that direction. I'll have to calculate everything to confirm that everything's going in the right direction. But man, I got 16 shares, okay? And that's looking pretty good at 10% dividend yield. So the more I buy shares of RYLD, XYLD, and QYLD, it's gonna the damage is gonna just be significant. I've already earned $48.89 with um QYLD, okay. 11.29% dividend yield. Imagine what I can do with XYLD once I get, or I'm sorry, RYLD, once I get to at least 50 shares. Once I get to 50 shares, just by calculating this, if I calculate 50 times, let's just say 0 0.20, I'm getting about $10, okay? So, and the more I get, the more I can reinvest and the more I can buy. So, that means I can start buying more dividend stocks with these stocks. So the long-term goal is to, once I start generating, okay, 100 or so dollars just from these type of stocks, I can start buying more shares in my other dividend stocks. Then that means those other dividend stocks can start buying Russell 2000 cover call ETF. So things are looking very strong. So what... With my holdings, okay, right now, I get, with Iron Mountain, I got 60 shares. I, need, I do need to get more eventually. LTC Properties, I have 47 shares. So these monthly dividends are going to start kicking in to start buying these other dividend stocks. And like I told you guys, once I get to about 25 shares in all these, oh, man, things are going to start really kicking in with the compound interest. The dividend portfolio is just going to get stronger and stronger. So I'm very excited to see the changes, and especially with stocks like Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund, monthly dividend stock, okay, these are going to start buying other ones. And then I got um, ADC, which is Agree Realty Corporation. Once I start getting more shares with the other stocks, this the sky's going to be the limit. So I'm very excited, 
And by having RYLD, okay, right here, once I get to about 70 shares, I mean, just imagine that, 70 shares times 0 0.20, that's about, you know, $14, $14, okay? And it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So it's only, let's see, with 16 shares, I'm earning like $3, which isn't too exciting. But, I mean, once I get to 100, that's when things are going to start racking up. So I'm going to continue to reinvest and reinvest and buy more. And, you know, the sky, I'm telling you, it's just the things are starting to really kick in. And once these... I'm, I'm, once I get, I think when I get to 25 with my rates and I get to at least 70 with my monthly dividend um, ETFs like QYLD and RYLD and XYLD, that's going to really start kicking in. Don't forget LTC Properties is a monthly dividend stock. So if I continue to start buying and reinvesting and buying, and once I get to 100,000, I mean... I'm going to keep on going. I'd be crazy to stop. So that's what makes things exciting is I'm keeping on going. I'm getting going the train like this, this, um, it's like a spinning wheel. It's just, it's like a hamster running on a spinning wheel. It's going, it's going, it's going. And I'm almost at a thousand dollars of earned dividends. So that's a huge, uh, stepping stone. And I'm probably going to add maybe about 30 more dollars just because of the market going down. So I'm pretty exciting. Uh, I'm excited for the changes. But let me know what you think of this uh, dividend investing strategy with RYLD. Again, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. I'm going to try to post a video, by the way, on Saturday. So uh, keep your eyes out on Saturday, right around Saturday night. All right, take care.